So anyway, uh, we had a lot of snow today. Something about 8, 10 inches of snow around here. So I couldn't make it into the office, and neither could uh, most folks. So that's why the uh, support phones were down, that kind of thing. It was a pretty rough day. It really started pelting pretty heavy here. So so I'm at home today, which is uh, cool. Uh, I spent most of the day shoveling. But it also uh, means I didn't get to do everything I wanted to do today. Uh, one of the things I was hoping to do was get out the Players' Council list uh, on the forum so that everyone could see who's on this year's Players' Council. But unfortunately, it is not to be uh, because I need to be in the office in order to access the documents to put the list together to get it to you. I can't remember everyone off the top of my head, so sorry. I guess that's going to have to wait till Monday. But, I am here live. Welcome to Fridays at 5, here on twitch.tv slash ddostream, normally youtube.com slash dungeonsanddragons slash live, but I'm on the old hobgoblin run home computer today. Oh, it's only about 8 years old. <laughs> and so I, can't, I don't have the, uh, the uh, memory to... to stream the video to all this stuff. So I'm just on Twitch today. But normally I'm also on YouTube.com slash DDO or Dungeons and Dragons slash live. Welcome. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate you guys joining me for Fridays at five. Uh, I like I say I will be checking my chat room as often as I can. It's gonna be a little tricky this time because I, I don't have two screens. So I'm just gonna kinda have to wing it by popping back and forth and answering your chat uh, questions that way. If you guys want to make your way into the Sawami Gardens, we can get our way into Monastery of the Scorpion. One thing I can do, though, that I was hoping to do is do some giveaways. So I'm going to be giving away uh, the new Creature Companion that I have to give away for the anniversary. It's kind of a joke Creature Companion, so keep that in mind. Uh, but I'm going to be giving away some of those a little bit later on after we run Monastery of the Scorpion here. Hope your Friday's a good one. Hope that American handball game on Sunday goes according to your wishes, if that's uh, what you're into. And yes, I'm streaming from home. That's why I've got this fantastic setup behind me. My Dungeons & Dragons poster, my DD... How does this go? That way? Yes. DDO. Artwork there. Got my game shelf behind me, game shelf there, some books, video games, kitchen's back that way. There we go. It's all opposite. I'm in opposite world on this uh, video here. And I am on Orion for uh, the final day of Orion. Uh, next week is Sarlona. So that should be cool. Looks like we're good to go. Uh, we'll just mostly run our way out there. So anyway, it is cool to be at uh, home today. But like I said, I was—I actually had a lot I was going to do today. I'm in the office. I needed to get out the players' council list, and I needed to. Uh, do some anniversary preparations, which I am now unable to do. A whole bunch of stuff. So kind of a kind of a bad day to not be able to make it into the office. But hey, that's the way it goes sometimes. So the weather was not cooperating. Monastery of the Scorpion, if you don't know, like I said, we're in Reaver's, Re or Reaver's Refuge this time around, which is one of our lesser-run packs. Oh, heck. Or should we do hard? What do you guys think? Normal or hard? I think it may be normal. 
we'll take it easy today. Yeah, oh, uh, the uh, Jerry Snook graphic, I happened to see that when I was hunting around for the purple border, which I normally have, but don't apparently never bothered to save locally on my computer here. So when I came across that one, that was actually put together by Clankenbeard way back in the day. And so I thought, hey, that'd be kind of funny to uh, put that one on. So, so anyway, on Monday, I'm going to have the Players' Council list out for everybody. I would have been today except snow. Uh, check. Looks like maybe my audio is not. Oh, where am I just muted? There we go, that should work. Helps if I unmute myself. Someday, uh, if when I'm streaming from home here, who knows, maybe if I get exceptionally bored today, I can uh, show you some of my Atari collection. <laughs> I really do need to get a better computer someday for home, or at least a second monitor. Like I said, I tried using my uh, cell phone, but unfortunately, it doesn't want to play very nice, so it's kind of, kind of bleh. Oh my gosh, this corridor is sealed. Oh yeah, it is really nice and comfortable to be playing, like with my mouse and my keyboard and my monitor and all that, but like I say, I really could use a second screen here. Maybe I can uh, convince someone in the office to, to give me a free second monitor, <laughs> and then hopefully my computer's got the juice to run it, which I don't actually know is true. That was our first first real snowstorm that we've had here in Massachusetts this year. We had a couple inches of snow a couple weeks ago, but that was it. It's been a real wimpy, wimpy sort of winter so far, which isn't a bad thing. But uh, it actually, whoops, it actually hit today.
this guy really needs to improve his trap skills. Get some gear and such. Ooh, hey cool, we got someone else here. Welcome. We are in Monastery of the Scorpion. Anyway, big uh, big weekend in the United States. I have to admit, I uh, I have I really don't care about football. I just I've there's nothing wrong with sports. You know, hey, like what you like. But I didn't even know the Super Bowl was Sunday until yesterday. And someone was like, "Oh yeah, watching the Super Bowl." And I'm like, "Oh yeah, is that uh, it's tomorrow, huh? Or Sunday, huh?" Goes to show what I know. Here's my thing about football, American football. It really should be called handball. Because in football, you barely use your feet. I mean, they use their feet to run, but they catch the ball with their hands. They pass the ball with their hands. You know, they run with their hands, etc., etc. So why is it not called handball? I know it sounds weird now, but that's only because we've been calling it football all these years. If we had started by calling it the more accurate term of handball, then people would just be like, yeah, that's what it's called, handball. That's what it should be called, man. Whatever happened to Clink and Beard? I haven't seen him around in forever. Clink and Beard was never the busiest DDO player. Uh, as a matter of fact, he rarely ever played the game. <laughs> he just liked hanging out. <laughs> that was the reality of Clink and Beard. Although he did play some, but just not much. But uh, he's still hanging out with Lessa. You know, he's uh, Lessa's husband, so still hanging out, meeting her demands. And uh, occasionally when she forces him to make stuff for her, then he will. But yeah, Clanky is awesome. And he is uh, truly one of the funniest people I've ever met. But he, he never really played a lot of DDO, and, and I, don't, I think he's kind of moved on to, to some other games at this point. That plus, I think he just is super busy in real life. Bringing home the bacon for Lessa. That's what's happening. Unnamed companions make me sad. Oh, you're right. I haven't named him, huh? Good point. I should do that. Or what his name should be. Hey, at least this time around I've picked my enhancements at least. So I'm already a step ahead of the game <laughs> from where I was. Alright, let's see.
There we go. Cool. All right, this could be kind of a tricky part. This is one of the trickier parts, frankly, of this quest. We need to hit all these floor tiles. Navigate through these spikes. And then if we can, try to hit these levers on our way down. Oh yeah, good point. We have a chest. Man, it has been a long time since I ran this quest. I've done it, but uh, gosh, it's probably um, five years ago. I mean, really the trick is someone just has to navigate the spikes, which I should be able to largely do with potions and uncanny dodge. And then on the feather falling on the way down, you've got to hit the... Um, you've got to be able to sort of hit the, the bars on the way down to hit the chests. Otherwise, we just have to kind of keep doing it until we uh, hit all the levers, or all the or the spaces there to, to open it up. Basically, don't do what I just did. Did you get the first lever? Nope, I was on my way there, but I didn't uh, didn't get it. The airflow reversed, and I dropped before it happened. Would anybody like to try again? I can give them a D door.
Now we can clear this out first. Hey Lyrical, hey Og, hey even. Harry Trickus, I like it. So I don't know, we do have our uh, plus two loot boost going on this weekend. Anyway, I could tell you we do have about 60 members of the Players Council. Uh, like I, said, I was hoping to get that actual list out to you guys today, but, you know, for various reasons, it's all that information is still.
stuck in secure documents and uh, couldn't access it from home because of the snow. So, here we go. Yeah, that would be correct, right?
Did we get all the switches? Um, no, there's one left. trying to check my chat and I'm not having luck with that I don't know. I, I mean, I could try the puzzle. So, I, I don't remember how we get that last switch. What do we need to do? Yeah, see, just the shroud puzzle, except for pieces are missing. But we have to get that last switch, don't we? And I can't seem to get up there to get it. I keep hitting the ceiling. Of the uh, one area, rather than where I need to be. Oh, there we go. I got it open when you pull the one. Yay! Somebody did it. Congrats on whoever did that. You're a lifesaver. Uh, is there anywhere in-game to buy spell potions? Um, yeah, the auction houses would probably have it. Otherwise, you can get them through daily dice. Um, rarely in a chest. And through the DDO store. That's the intention of it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, if you have, uh, Even says, uh, by the way, hey Even, if you have three medium Eberron shards, can turn those in for a mnemonic trinket. It's a clicky with 20 uses, so it's like 20 major pots. Oh, and by the way, hey Nervgen, that reminds me, I wanted to get the word out about your show. Uh, my uh, Brazilian Portuguese is utterly terrible, so sorry if I pronounce this awfully, but uh, Papagaio de TR is going to be Sunday, starting at 10 o'clock Eastern. Brand new show. Uh, features some uh, DDO uh, players who are Brazilian, and I believe it's in Brazilian Portuguese. It's going to be awesome. And that debuts this Sunday, very first time, too. Also, tonight at 8.30, we've got Pikers Anonymous. Saturday afternoon, I heard that uh, Musk from Argo was planning to do some streaming. Uh, I believe Bitsy and Matson were last weekend, so I don't think they're this weekend. And then Sunday afternoon, uh, someone's going to be filling in for Shoe Cobbles, eh? Because Shoe's got a, um, a wedding or something to get to. So we have a nice full weekend here, actually. It's pretty cool stuff. Sanyasi doesn't like me very much. There we go. Alright, so the basic per way to do a shroud puzzle is you do it top down, fill them up in. Oh, hey, there we go. Easy. Nice. Piece of cake. It doesn't always go that well. <laughs> Yeah, Shu's got a baby shower. Shu's having a baby. I don't think I've got enough of the um, gems to run Stealer of Souls. I need to check to see what I have and don't have. So I think I'm going to call it here and I'm going to do some giveaways then for the last 20 minutes of the show. Which, by the way, will include you guys. Uh, I've got a screenshot here. I'm going to be logging into my admin in a little bit and giving out some creature companions on all the servers. So I'll make sure you guys get some here on Orion. Thank you. Cool. All right. Yeah, thanks again. I will see you guys soon. I'm uh, going to be closing down the DDO client, booting myself up as an admin on... Argo, and I'm going to go down the list, and I'm going to give away some stuff. So, if you're hoping to have a guy on Argo, you might want to do that. Log into said person. Yeah, Arg, if you wanted to do a weekend spot, I'd be totally into that. Um, we have, you know, Saturdays are kind of hard to schedule people on a weekly thing, because people have things going on. So, bi-weekly is fine. Uh, once a month is fine. You know, whatever you end up doing is perfectly cool. So, um, 
We certainly have the room for it, though. The only thing we have going on is... Actually, Sundays are fairly busy. Uh, Shu streams at 3 o'clock, and then Titan, I've moved to Wednesday nights. And then uh, Public Degao de TR is starting on Sundays at 10. So 3 and 10 o'clock Eastern are the only real spots that we have for sure filled on Sundays. And then every other Saturday at 9 p.m. we've got a uh, show. So perhaps if you wanted to alternate 9 p.m. Saturdays, that would be a great spot. Um, but if some other time on Saturday works for you, that's perfectly cool too. Yeah, we can talk about it off stream if you want. Hey, Rothko, how's it going? Alright, so what am I giving away? I am giving away an Invisible Stalker Creature Companion. It is an Invisible Creature Companion. Yes, it is a joke. <laughs> So if you are on the live stream and you want to join me, head into the Rusty Dale. Twinkle is on Argo. Okay, we'll make sure to get you one. <laughs> oh, trust me, I know even, even definitely is going to get one here. There you go, Bonnie. Hello. Let's see. 
All right, off to the next server, which would be ABC Kenneth. <laughs> You're right. Even uh, I did mention the uh, Invisible Stalker pet back in 2013. That's pretty funny. So, so here's the history of the Invisible Stalker pet. Originally, it was going to be an April Fool's joke because it is kind of a joke, right? It's a joke item because it's invisible. Although it does take your hats and sparklies and things like that, so it's it is kind of cool actually. But originally, it was going to be an April Fool's joke. And then just for whatever reason, it didn't get done in time. And so it just got sort of shuttled off into nowhere land. And we were digging around through some of our codes, I guess, six months ago or something like that. And someone stumbled across it and said, hey, do you know that we have an invisible stalker creature companion? And we're like, really? So then we were thinking about giving it away in the monster manual or daily dice. But then it was like, well, it is an invisible creature companion. I mean, certainly we can't sell it, right? Which we wouldn't do, because it just doesn't seem right. And so, um, eventually it wound its way. I was like, hey, you know, Jerry could probably give that away for stuff. And I was like, yes, yes, I can do that. So, uh, there you go. Yep. So that's the, uh, the history of the Invisible Stalker Creature Companion. So, since it's our 10th anniversary, and now seems like a great time to... You're giving it away. There you go. That's what I'm. That's what I'm doing. And I'm on Kenneth, again, in the Rusty Dale. Can you see it with true seeing? You know, I don't know. I have never tried. One way to find out, though. I don't happen to have true seeing on my admin. But maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, I'm mean, airdropping up in the market. That is absolutely true. <laughs> so the dry run for the anniversary, by the way. You think I'm getting crazy now. You wait till the anniversary. Yeah. I'll be... I have permission to hopefully not break the server. And that's about the... In terms of being able to give stuff away and get a little crazy on the live worlds during our uh, big 12-hour live stream. Let's just say there might be a kobold invasion in the harbor. Certainly something that could happen. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. It's going to be kind of nuts. I hopefully won't break the world. That's the main goal. I, I do have to work within some parameters here. So... Let's see, where would be a good place to do this? I'm gonna randomly pick somebody from the who list. How about
Hey Shu, how you doing? I know you. A nerve. Cool. All right, next server. Galanda it is. Ricky Sora says, I want to glamour the shadow plate as the worthless chain shirt. That's true. We will be giving away some worthless chain shirts, too. Let's see. How about I head into House Jurasco on G Land? Yeah, I will be on Kyber for sure. And uh, Ty Wazlov 10, yeah, I should be able to get you one, no problem. Oh, there we go, Rust, Rust off. Again. Let's see, I already got you, Rothko. What about you, Peg? I don't know if I got you or not. Cool. 
Cool. All right, that's gonna do it. Let me uh, pop onto a different server so I can make this quick. Looks like I've got a four-year-old that wants to say hello. G H I J K. Yes, I can do my alphabet, even on snow days. Kyber, Kyber is next. Don't worry, uh, Ty. I'll I'll make sure you uh, get one since you are quite interested. I can hand deliver. Let's head into the Phoenix. there, girlfriend. I can't actually reach you if you're not going to let me. Alright. There you go.
this time. I'm going to go into the entrance here. So uh, if, I'm going to stick around for about a minute here on GLand, then heading over to the next server. I'll be giving out more. This isn't your one opportunity. Um, they should be pretty plentiful through giveaways and public events here throughout the month. So if you don't get one today, you know, you'll get your chance. I pretty well aim to make sure as many people as want one get one. So. Ten more seconds. A few here. server. If you have 84 pets, Random Rice, I will absolutely make sure that you get this one as well. Uh, I actually plan to, because I know some, some of our more hardcore uh, pet collectors you know, I want to make sure that you guys get don't get overlooked here. So, uh, yeah, I mean, on an admin Titan, technically, we can pretty much do whatever we want uh, within the parameters of the ability to do so at the game. But as uh, Technical 13 mentions, it doesn't really matter what our attack speed is because we can push a button and just destroy whatever we want. But we don't play on these admins. I mean, that's not the purpose of an admin character. It's kind of kind of pointless. You know, they're used for admin-y things like giveaways, events, uh, you know, support, all sorts of things like that. Me, personally, on the community side, I tend to do it more for events, bug checking. Um, you know, I see a bug report in the forum. Sometimes I can pop in on an admin and, and reproduce it right on the spot like that. That's a, that's a pretty good thing. Oh, I must have already done just on Kyber, huh? Yeah, okay. L M N O. Oh, Orion is next. I should get some devs flagged and run Stealer of Souls on the stream. I would rather flag a regular character um, than do Stealer of Souls on an admin. Because it's kind of no point running on an admin. My Orion guy's all but ready. Uh, plus, I'm pretty sure I've got people on Sarlona and Thalanis that are good to go for Stealer of Souls. Maybe even Kuiper as well.
let's see. How about I go in the marketplace here on Orion? Oh, I actually have one on this server because I was testing it out here. See? It is literally blank. <laughs> Except it will wear top hats and the sparkly dust and that sort of thing. So that's pretty cool. How about uh, for those on Orion who want one and happen to be watching the stream, why don't we meet in the Phoenix Tavern? Yeah, see I've got the sparkly dust on the companion here. So you can see how it's moving around. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, Technical 13, I have to give out those 10th anniversary prizes yet. I got super busy this week, and that was also on my list of things to do today. And uh, I did get your spreadsheet, but I didn't actually have time this week to take care of it. So I really apologize, uh, Technical. I'll uh, take care of that as soon as I can on Monday. I have a few other things I need to do on Monday, like get out the Players' Council list. <laughs> And uh, I'll do a thing for the anniversary, but after that, I will get uh, get those prizes out in the next week. The plan for the anniversary stream is to stream. <laughs> that is the extent of it. I have no other plans. I'm going to be having some devs stop by. We're going to have some fun. I'm going to hang out. I'm going to bring in people from past and present on the dev team to chat, like uh, Aladrin, that sort of thing. I should be able to rope them in. be running stuff, doing giveaways, events, trivia, doing some cool stuff. And then, like I say, getting a little mad on the live servers within the parameters that I don't crash the server, I can do some things that will be fun for me. <laughs> and that's, <laughs> that's the plan for the uh, anniversary live stream. I'm heading to Sarlona.
All right, why do we not meet Sarlona in the Rusty Nail? Yes, even I know you want to dredge, Creature Companion. <laughs> a cake pet? That's actually really great. But uh, no, I don't think so. A cake pet would be great, though. Yeah. A 24 hour stream for the anniversary? No. Not 24 hours, because it's going to be me, and I'm old enough that I don't feel like being on a computer for 24 hours. But I will be on for like 12. The idea is like 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And it may go later than that. But that will be probably the scheduled time. Nerve, you're just raking them in. It's fine, though. I think that's going to do it for Sarlona. Next up, Thalanus. Yeah, I mean, we could do shifts if people want to say, you know, if any of the streamers in that want to get in on this too. The reason I'm doing like 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. is because I'm going to be doing it during office hours when I can actually bring in people during the regular work day. You know, this is an official thing for them, so we can force them to sit in a chair and answer our questions. Um, but also just because especially if we do it on a Friday, which I think we are going to, people may have Friday night plans and that sort of thing. So we're going to go during the day, day-long event, um, on that Friday. I think that's the tentative plan is that Friday. Technically, the anniversary is that Sunday. That's the 28th, but I'm not doing a day-long live stream on Sunday. So it'll be most likely that Friday, which actually works out okay because that's the 26th, which was Didio's head start back uh, 10 years ago. So that's kind of cool. Oops. Same old, same old. We go into the right server this time. Uh, no, I don't want to teleport people to me on the live server. Um, I don't think that is allowed without special permission. Besides, it doesn't seem totally fair.
Alright, I'm going to head into the Phoenix. If you are on Thalanus, Even. There you go. I assume that that is uh, T13 there. Yeah. All right, let me uh, drop a couple. Then I'm going to head off into Wayfinder to wrap up the day. I got some things I need to do. No, you have to get your fiendlings uh, yourself. I don't have authorization to give those away as they are a store item. You know, uh, Bakla Gore, I am the same way on the Reezy Ice games. People have tried to show me how to jump. Les has tried to show me how to do the jump, and it just never worked for me. Might as well head into the Rusty Nail, as I am close to it.
Well, technically, Titan, as long as the instance was open, people could stop by and pick them up, which is why I went and did that. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, if you want to give them away instead, that's fine. Uh, anyway, I can set my speed to be whatever I want. Uh, within parameters that eventually I get so fast that the land blocks won't load and I would crash the instance. And you don't want that to happen. There you go. Shoo, there you are. You're just cleaning up, aren't you? Let's see. Okie doke. I'll give it another minute, see if some folks want to stop by while I do that. Thank you very much for watching Fridays at 5 here on twitch.tv slash ddostream and uh, normally youtube.com slash dungeonsanddragons slash live. I'm Didio's Community Manager Cordovan here at home for our Snow Day episode. We're going to be having giveaways and contests and events all month long here ahead of our 10th anniversary. We of course have our anniversary celebration that will be around the 26th through the 28th all sorts of stuff to talk about that uh, will be coming in the next couple of weeks along with update 30 that will have the gnome and deep gnome and things like that. You can find our full schedule on twitch.tv slash ddostream. We have shows tonight at 8.30, Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, and Sunday night, 10 o'clock for the very first Papa de Gallo, uh, Day TR. And uh, follow us on social media if you want to know whenever we go live. You can also follow us on Twitch you'll get an email invitation if you'd like to join us when we go live with shows just like this one. Hope you guys have a great DDO weekend. See you again soon.